Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do the update, an update on my Spectrum DX6R. This is the radio I use when I go racing. Um, the update has been out since March 30th. I did wait a little while just to see if other people had problems with the update before I did mine. I didn't really see anything posted in the forum. It's on Facebook. So, uh... When the radio boots up, this is what it looks like. You have to go into the Raceware app. And there happens to be one of my cars right there. But um, In the update, one of the things in the update is that it you don't have to push the Raceware button. It'll boot right up into the Raceware. I'm not going to go through all of the new features. Um... I'm gonna. I have a do. I do have a screenshot that I'll post up, and you can go through them. I don't use all the features of this radio due to that I am a racer, and I really don't use anything other than steering and gas brake. It does have. It is a six-channel radio. It does have telemetry. It does have a lot of things. A lot of those are parts of the updates, and I just don't use any of those as I'm a racer and. If I bought some other type of vehicle, it probably would come in really handy. I do do I do use drive modes on my indoor Thursday night car. Uh, most of my outdoor vehicles, I use just one setup, and that's what I run. So uh, let's look at the radio real quick. This would be like the main screen. And it, you can also select which vehicle you want to load. I happen to be sitting on my, my Techno short course truck right now. So these would be all the vehicles I have in here. And if we were to go into the truck, we can look at, come on, touch screen, there we go. This is this is the main screen, so you have a timer up here, and you got resets, and those are your basic settings right there. And then you have, you notice there's three dots down here on the bottom. These would be our, whoops. These would be our screens, so here we have our monitor and then we have steering brake and then all of our rest of our settings you scroll up and you can see the version that I'm sitting at right now and we can go into app settings and while we're at here let's go ahead and do a backup I want to back everything up just to I'm gonna, I made a folder here backups and how do I start this select backup That was easy. So I guess we have backup now. Never done that before. But I did want to back it up before I did the software update. So let's go back. And let's go into steering. So the order of these is going to be changed. Apparently some of the stuff's going to be moved up, the stuff that you use more frequently. And then this would be the gas and brake settings here. So Those are their settings. I did, I did take some screenshots earlier, and I'm planning on comparing the screenshots later on in this video. But let's go ahead and let's do our update. Wi-Fi on this this radio has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. One of the reasons why I bought it. Um, this was only my first real radio. I did have a Traxxas radio that came with my Slash, and I do have a DX E2. I think it is that came with my low C mini eight. Spent a lot of money on this thing. <laughs> One of the reasons I bought this was because the low C already had a spectrum radio receiver in it. It doesn't really work with it, but that's a whole nother story. So let me let me get out of here real quick. And let me turn my Wi-Fi on. I never turn the Wi-Fi on because I don't really want to update everything. I just want to update what I use. So right now we're gonna go out to the Play Store once the Wi-Fi turns on and we're going to download there it is play store okay I'm gonna to have to disconnect my camera in order to connect to my wireless so we're probably not gonna see the update until it gets downloaded so let me do that real quick There we go. 
go. Play Store. So let me find my update. Let's do Raceware. That might be easier. First on the list. I did go to Spectrum's website and I couldn't really find anything that was features on the updates and the Play Store obviously isn't going to tell me either. Look, it just says bug fixes. Great. Thanks for all the information, Spectrum. Okay, so there's the update. Taking place. So it'll be interesting to see what changes are actually going to be there. I do like the idea that they move the stuff you use most often to the top. So. Should be interesting in the menu system to get that stuff easier access. I guess we're going to do the installing now. It's already installed, so let's open it up and see what's going on here. It is a little bit of a pain in the butt when you're at a race and you got to wait for your Android system to boot up and then wait for your Spectrum app to open up after you remember to click on it. So hopefully this will speed things up when I'm at the track. But it is taking it. We got an error message. Let's see what that says. Okay, it says update successful. In order to use the latest features, please quit and restart Raceware. So it's not an error message, it's just in some instructions there. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and turn Wi Fi off while we're at it. Because I don't need maps updated and a bunch of other things that I don't need to use on this. So let's get back in here. And my Raceware app is not even there anymore. I gotta put that back in place. Where? I may edit this stuff to get it true. That was pretty quick. Okay, so let's see what's changed here. Looks like it saved all of my settings. So I'm steering it. Look, all this stuff's up to the front, and my potentials are now down here in the middle. So there's all your basic settings towards the top here. So that's pretty cool. It saved everything and it reordered the stuff. Let's go back to bracket steering. Again, throttles right at the top, max potentials in the middle. So far, I'm happy with the update. It was quick, simple, and fast. So let me do some screenshots and uh, I guess I don't really need to do anything. Everything seems to be easy saved the way it was before the update. I'll do some screenshots so you can see the different layouts, I guess, maybe. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you haven't liked the page yet, go ahead and we'll see you next time. Take care, guys.